Good morning, Quack Country 101 here, and today's shout out goes to Robert Redzik. Robert was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus was his shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quack Country 101 here, and welcome to the review of the new Tomzon A34. Now, looking at the A34, you're going to say to yourself, well, that's another beginner's drum. And yes, it is, folks. Keep in mind that my channel is focused on helping beginner pilots enter the world of RC, okay? It always has been and always will be, folks. I do test some uh, more advanced drones, but I do like to do these uh, toy drones. And the reason being, these toy drones have all you need to learn the skills of flying a drone, okay? People go out and buy these $500 expensive drones as a, their first drone, beginner pilots. You got to keep in mind, in RC, this is an old adage, you are going to crash that first whatever it is that you're flying, <laughs> okay, everybody crashes, okay, there's no way to avoid it, now, do you want to learn the hard way of what not to do by flying a $500 drone, or do you want to learn it through flying a $35 drone, this drone will give you all you need to learn how to fly a drone, you'll learn to use the control sticks on this, particularly throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll, those are really hard to learn, okay, <laughs> for a new pilot, this will do it, okay, this is what you want, in other words, again, again, it's a beginner's learn to fly drone. It only weighs about 35 grams with the battery, or 63 grams, I'm sorry, 63 grams with the battery. That means this does not require a registration in most countries, folks. So you don't need to register this drone. There is no camera on this. There's a little light in the front of it and a light in the back of it, but there is no camera on this. And again, that does not because of that, those countries that do require drones with cameras, this doesn't fall, come into play. It does not require registration in those countries either. Again, this is strictly for fun, okay? It's for fun and also to learn how to fly. It is a fun little drone, and you'll see when I take it down and, and fly it. But um, let's talk about it. It has the lights on it. It has a um, inside these propeller guards, and by the way, these are very nice propeller guards. They do a real good job of protecting both the propeller and also keeping the drone in the air if you bump into objects. You'll see that when I go flying downstairs in the basement. I bump into a lot of things, and this drone stayed in the air for the most part. Okay, there was one that it crashed, but most part, it, it stayed in the air. But um, these propeller guards also have LED lights embedded inside. That makes this drone very colorful indoors, folks, or at night. Um, outdoors in bright sunlight, you're not going to see those LEDs, but indoors or uh, at night, you will see them, and it, and it looks pretty. Uh, I believe it has uh, green in the front and blue in the back. Hold on. I got it on my uh, red. Yeah, green LEDs in the front and uh, blue LEDs in the back. Um, those... LEDs have five different light modes where they flash in different sequences. I'll also demonstrate that when we go flying it. Now, okay, let's talk about the motors on this. Um, notice these motors are brushed motor drones. You're not going to get brushless motor drone in the $35 price range and the toy drone price range. Uh, that means these motors will fail one day, okay, eventually with time. But by then, you should be skilled enough Hopefully, you'd be skilled enough to be able to progress to that more expensive drone that you were looking at, okay? So, this should give you more than enough flight time. You know, if you're careful, this will, this will last a long time. And the way to do that, folks, to make these last a long time is minimize doing the flips. This does have a flip feature. I'll talk about that. And give yourself some uh, rest time between flight periods. Uh, between batteries, if you're you're flying around, give yourself at least 15 minutes cool down periods between flights to allow these motors to cool down, and your motors will, should last uh, extra special long time. Okay, now talking about the power to those motors, these are powered by a little 3.7 volt modular battery. Um, it's 3.7 volt lithium lithium ion battery. And you get two of them with the package. Okay, each one gives you about 10 minutes of flight time, which is pretty sufficient for a toy drone, especially with a toy, toy drone with uh, protective uh, prop guards like these on this. Uh, so you, you'll have more than enough flight time to, to practice with this particular drone. Um, it has several different flight modes, including toss and fly, where you can toss the drone into the air and it'll take off automatically, or you can do automatic takeoff. Um, it does have altitude hold where the drone will maintain its altitude automatically. It has headless mode. It has a spin feature where it will spin rapidly. And it also has a circle fly feature where it will spin or fly around in a circle. 
And also, I mentioned it does have flip capability, forward, backward, right, left flips. It, it is a good flipper. You'll see that when I take it for a flight. Um, it has several different rates. Um, it has uh, beginner, intermediate, and expert rates. And finally, it does have mode, both mode 1 and mode 2 control through the controller. You can adjust the controller between mode 1 and mode 2. And let's talk about that controller for now. This is the controller, and it has a little cheat screen that you put over the top it tells you what each of the features on it is i'll bring it up close so you can see that let's go over them right now um, the controller here um, this is your automatic takeoff and automatic land button this button here adjusts the different light modes that this has this button here activates the circle fly or the spin feature and if you hold it down for three seconds it activates the circle fly feature it does have headless mode you activate by this button here and I mentioned it has flip capability, which you activate by this button here, and then tell it which direction to flip by moving the pitch roll stick. Um, you adjust the rates on the drone by pressing this button here from beginner, intermediate, and expert. You'll hear one beep, two beep, or three beep. In mode one, this is uh, throttle, this is yaw, this is pitch, and this is roll. And I mentioned you can switch to mode two by holding down the rate button while turning on the controller and that'll switch back and forth between mode one and two. It does have trim control for indoor trimming of the drone to, to prevent drifting. This only works indoors, folks. Don't try to trim outdoors because wind will uh, negate your effect, your attempts to, to reduce the, the drift. But uh, if you're flying indoors and it's drifting, you can uh, stop that by using these trim buttons to push the drift in the opposite direction to prevent drifting. Let's go over what you get in the box. You get the instruction manual in multi different or in different languages. You also get a quick start manual for those of you out here that have flown drones before. You get the controller, you get the drone, you get one or two, or actually you get two batteries with this package. So you get a spare battery. They say you get 20 minutes of flight time. You get approximately 10 minutes per battery. Uh, you get a spare set of propellers. I don't know why you need them because these prop guards work real well. You get a prop puller to remove the propellers. You get this little micro um, Phillips screwdriver for removing the prop guards to change the props. You get a spare battery. And you get a charger. Now, let's talk about this charger. Um, the batteries, as you can see, are charged through a little micro USB port right there. Now, don't go using a regular micro USB cable to charge this through a wall charger because these are not smart batteries. You will overcharge them if you try to do that. Use this charger because this will stop the charging current once the, the battery is fully charged. Um, it'll be red. You'll have a little red light in here that lights up as it's charging. And when it's, once it's fully charged, it'll, be, it'll change to green and it lets you know that the battery's ch fully charged and you can unplug it and go flying. So that is the Tomzon A34 tabletop. Let's take it down into my flight test facility and see how it flies down there. And following that, we'll take it outdoors to see how it flies outdoors. Hope you enjoy these flights. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And welcome to the Quadcopter 101 Indoor Flight Test Facility and Test Drive Facility, too, at the same time. This is where I uh, test drive my uh, little FPV cars. By the way, i got a, two more coming in here shortly that I'll be uh, reviewing in the near future, so keep an eye out for those little FPV cars. They're fun. Okay, to get the toms on in the air, all we need to do is turn on the drone first, and that's by holding and pressing down this button here until the lights blink. Put the green lights in front of you. That's the front. Blue lights behind you is the back. Put it on a flat level surface and turn on the controller. Now watch the lights and they'll go steady and it's connected to the controller. So we're ready to fly folks. So the first thing we're going to do is take to the air and then I'm going to trim it up to prevent drift since we're flying indoors we can do that. So automatic takeoff is pressing this button here and we're going to observe any drift drifting to the right and forward so we're going to go to the left until it stops and back and to the right one and that's pretty much nice nicely trimmed okay let's bring it back toward us here take a look at the lights on this thing there's one light <laughs> two lights th three lights fourth light and fifth light okay so that's the lighting that it's got on this. I'm coming down to its level here by getting on my knees here, bringing it over closer. So we did the lights. Uh, next thing, let's try uh, that circle mode. There's a circle spin mode. 
I pressed it there. Let's stop that. And bring it over closer. Actually, leave it. Pick it up a bit higher. We'll press and hold the circle fly button. Ooh. <laughs> Let's press and hold that circle fly button again. So you need some room to do the circle fly. But notice that it bumped into the wall there. No problem. Let's try bumping into the uh, hot tub and see if we can fly. Well, what do you know? Let's do that again. Bumping into the hot tub. Doesn't seem to mind it. You know. So this is a great beginner's learn to fly drone, okay? You can bump into things and uh, it's kind of forgiving. So let's bring it over. The next thing we're gonna try is the flips on this thing. Bring it up a little higher and do a right flip. Not too bad. A left flip. Not too bad. Forward flip. Coming back down to my level and a back flip. So it does flips very nicely. Okay, maneuverability. We're in beginner's rate, so it's actually not too bad for a beginner rate. Whoa, almost hit the stanchion. Bringing it back over again. Let's see, what haven't I tried yet? We did the flips. We're going to go into a different higher rate. Let's try higher rate, second rate. Okay, that's his turns in second right. Very maneuverable. Nicely maneuverable. Nicely done. So that's good. Let's go to higher rate. Third rate. <laughs> Went over my head. <laughs> okay. The yaw rate seems to be the same as in second rate, but there we go. We're doing funnels. And what I'm doing is giving it full left rudder and full left pitch and pushing forward at the same time. So forward and diagonally on one and uh, full left on the uh, rudder. So those are what's called funnels, folks. Right funnels. <laughs> Bring it closer. I'll do that close up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pick it up speed. So it's not too bad. Okay, slow to die. Kill it back to second rate. Second rate seems to be the most uh, usable indoors. Uh, what happened? I tried. I think I did everything. The lights flipping. Let's go around the stanchions in. Oh, I hit the stanchion there. Don't matter. So yeah, again, this drone is good for beginners. Okay, easy to fly, very docile. Um, you can fly it indoors and outdoors. We're going to take it outdoors after this, um, but. Bumping into it doesn't seem to be a problem, okay? It continues to fly. Bring it back and push it away. You know what I haven't tried yet? Let's try the toss and fly yet. Let's, we're going to do a manual landing, or a automatic landing. I'm going to land on my racetrack here. And we're going to try a toss and fly. So let's see if we can do that. Ready, set, toss. Ooh, goes right to the ceiling when you do that, folks. So. That's probably something you want to use outdoors. <laughs> it gains quite a bit of altitude. Let's try that again just to see. A landing. And toss and fly again. Straight to the ceiling. So, yeah. Maybe an outdoor thing. <laughs> see. One, two, two, second rate. Okay, we're going to stay in second rate. One around again. Nice little flyer, folks. Good for beginner pilots, good for kids, um, safe for kids, I would say. The reason being, those blades are pretty well hidden in there. Not that you can't get your fingers in there, you can from the bottom, but from the sides and top, it's kind of difficult. Um, bumping into things, this doesn't seem to have a problem with it. <laughs> you can bump into it, it don't matter. It continues flying. A lot of drones, toy drones, you do that, they go to the ground, you know, that confuses the gyros. This one doesn't seem to have a problem. So, going around, coming back. Nice little beginners learn to fly. So, okay, we're going to take this outdoors in a bit. See how it flies outdoors. I'm going to bring it back toward me here. Forward flip. Back flip. <laughs> so, okay, we haven't tried headless mode. Headless mode. Pushing forward, pushing back. Okay, it doesn't matter which way the thing's pointed. If I push forward, pull back, it's still going to return. We could actually pillow at the drone while we're flying it. 
in headless mode. This is for beginner pilots. They don't need to worry about which way is forward. They just need to know which, you know, that's forward, back, right, and left, and that don't matter which way the drone points when you're in headless mode. And that depends which direction the drone was pointed at takeoff. That would be the forward direction. It was pointed that way when I took off. So, pretty nice. I'm coming out of headless mode. Headless mode off. And let's try that circle one flight one more time. Circle flight. Automatic circle flying. I ain't doing anything, folks. <laughs> it's just flying in circles on its own. Okay, let's stop that. And let's do uh, rotate again. Automatic rotate. And it just spins. Spinning on its own. Looks like a... Uh, can I go in headless mode while we're doing that? Yeah. Oh, no, it, won't. it stops. Coming out of headless mode. It stops the spin when you go into headless mode and give it a direction to go. Well... I gotta say, it's a nice little, or nice little drone. Beginners learn to fly a drone. It really is easy to fly, priced right, uh, gentle flyer, safe flyer, and uh, you'll learn all the skills you need with it. Okay, how to, how to fly a drone. You know, a lot of people get confused. You know, in the sticks, how do you control the drone? Which is the throttle? Which is the yaw? Pitch and roll. You learn that with this, okay? Um, you learn that on a $35 drone or whatever, whatever the price of this is, I believe. I believe it's around $35, something like that. Good cheap way to learn to fly a drone. Now, it just doesn't have a GPS, folks. It doesn't have a camera. But you get that on your follow-on drone once you learn how to fly. Okay, since the lights are blinking right now, that means our battery's getting low. The controller is also beeping. That's the telemetry going to the... The controller telling uh, us that the battery is getting low. So in this case, if we were outdoors, we probably want to keep the drone close to us at this point while we're waiting for it to see what it will do once the battery dies. And there's what it does once the battery expires. It just lands itself. So that is the Tomzon A34. Let me turn off this to shut off the beeping and turn off this to shut off those blinking lights. So... Tom's on A34, great little drone, great little beginner's learn to fly drone, priced right, I, I recommend it. If you're looking for a drone that you want to learn how to fly a drone, this is what you need, folks. This will do it. Okay, Quadcopter 101, I hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, let's take it outdoors and see how it flies there. <laughs> so I'm not going to say sighting out yet. <laughs> Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the outdoor test flight of the Tomzon A34. Now, to start this up, we need to just hit the on-off switch again. Green light is the front, so that's the front. Tom's, we're going to put it on the ground like so, and then turn on the controller like so until the lights stop flashing, and they've stopped flashing. Now, I am going to hand toss this. We're going to do a hand toss launch, and like so, and there we go. Okay, I'm going to go to higher rate, the highest rate since we're outdoors, and the reason I'm doing that is there might be a little bit of wind. <laughs> But, and this is flyable in high rates, so let's bring it over here. We'll go out on the street a little bit. Now it's trash collection day, folks, so <laughs> we got trash around here. Going up higher. And coming back down again. It's actually a nice little flyer. This is easy to fly, I gotta say. This one is easy to fly. And flies well. I'm going to second rate. Second rate is, I guess, the easiest controllable flight. <laughs> Fun little thing. Coming around. <laughs> going around. Doing lots of flips with it. Now, be careful doing flips, folks. Don't do too many of those. And the reason being that it will burn out motors. <laughs> it will if you do too many. But let's try uh, circle flight. 
Coming out of Circle Flight, I want to go a little bit over here. Uh, rotate, Circle Flight again, go over here, Circle Flight. Slow motion Circle Flight, drifting in the wind as it's doing that, and stopping Circle Flight. And going back to fl regular flying. Okay, going around, going to highest rate. Let's do some more funnels. Bringing it over, showing you funnels. So yeah, it's flying. I got there's a wind at my back. It's only about two mile per hour. If you can see the the little telltales on these uh, um, snow guards that I got up here, snow poles. <laughs> we get a lot of snow in Erie, PA, and most folks put it, these snow poles out so when the snow plow comes through. Uh, you can see the edge of the road, but you can see there's not much wind today, so good day to fly outdoors. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> nice little drone for beginners to learn to fly with, I gotta admit. Going up higher in future. <laughs> there was an old SEMA commercial. It was a TV commercial. It was badly dubbed. <laughs> if you look for it, you'll, you can still find it on YouTube. <laughs> but um, SEMA's still around. I think they're still around, aren't they? They had one of the best learn to fly drones ever. That was the X5C. People remember the SEMA X5C? I love that drone. I still got mine, actually. <laughs> but this one's a good one. This one's actually a really good learn to fly, I gotta say. So I'm gonna keep the sticks in the, in the picture to show you it. Going that way, that way, going out bun, coming around, coming back. You'll learn the stick movement easily with this little drone. Okay, I'm gonna plop it there. Now it's drifting, you know, when you're outdoors, don't try to stop drifting with the uh, trim buttons. You, it just won't work, folks. That's the wind doing it. And the wind goes from this way, that way, and in different ways. You'll never, you'll never ever zero out that drift outdoors with wind. Indoors, yeah, use trim, but outdoors, no. So let's bring it in. I'm going to land it in my hand and turn it around and toss it again. <laughs> I like that toss. But notice how it climbs when you throw that. Let's do that again, I'll show you. Bring it in. Oh, there's that button. Okay, we're going to toss it again. Watch how this thing climbs on the automatic takeoff. Uh, didn't do it that much that time. Bringing it down closer and turning it. Okay, let's see here. Headless mode. Which way is headless mode? That way is forward. Whoa. <laughs> Rotating back, headless mode off. So, good little flyer. I'm going to go out in the center here. So, so I can get the sun more toward my back instead of in my face. Coming back down again. This actually looks pretty good. I want to get a thumbnail. And there it goes again. <laughs> Bring it around. And up to me. And there comes the wind. Bit of wind, but it's fighting it. Fighting it real well. And again, I'm only at intermediate rate, I believe. No, that was that was expert rate. That was expert rate. That's highest rate. But it's fighting a little off. Now it's a five mile an hour wind, I'm guessing now. But it's doing a good job fighting it. Tom Zone, E34. Tom Zone has a nice, a lot of nice beginner drones that they sell on Amazon, I gotta admit. Their, their drones are actually reasonably nice drones for beginners. Um, they're mostly all beginners, but you got to start somewhere, folks. And I, again, I don't recommend starting with a DJI. You know, 
hundred, you know, buy, you know, start off with an expensive car, okay? You know, when you learn to drive, most people start with a clunker, okay, when they're first learning to drive. And that's a good, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> because you might get in an accident or, well, there goes our batteries. That's, we're going to get a total flight time off of this compared to the indoor versus the outdoor flight. Indoor flight's going a little bit faster the whole flight, so I would expect it to be a little bit shorter flight time. But almost done. Almost done. Let's let it come over there, go over there. I'm going to take it up higher, though. I want to see if it will drop from the sky from that altitude when the battery finally clunks. What does it do on low battery? It's just hovering there, folks. Just hovering. Is it going to drop or is it going to... Let me go over the grass <laughs> just in case it does drop. I'm just hovering it, hovering it. Looks like it's descending, descending, just, and that's what it does, descend. So, that's a Tomazon A34. Let me turn this off. Turn off that telemetry beep. But Tomazon A34, nice little beginner's learn to fly drone. Very good learner, begin to, <laughs> learners begin to fly drone. Highly recommended for both kids and also for adults who want to learn to fly a drone. You will learn it with this, trust me. Okay, it's Quite Chapter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.